Hi guys, uh, now we are unboxing the Anna, Sungrow 15D inverter. It's a hybrid inverter. Uh, which uh, it's a new model that we launched uh, for this uh, 2023, and we are doing the unboxing for this. Okay, uh, when you open the box, uh, these are the on the top you can see uh, there will be a, like a backside stand will be there. This is the backside uh, stand for the inverter, which holds the inverter. Okay, and next. Uh, Will be the it's a Wi Fi uh, Vinetus, it's a for the connecting to the internet, it's an interface between the inverter and the to the cloud. It's an Vinet, and the next, uh, just I want to what are the tools we will come when we will get in the uh, boxing is one is the meter. This is an uh, DT uh, DT SU triple six dash twenty. There is a difference between the old one and the new uh, meter. The old one is the only the DT SU triple six. Now it is DT SU triple six dash twenty. It's a new upgraded. And here what we will have the extra in the comparing with the old one is we have a Ethernet switch and we have a different uh, grid CT ports. But in the old one, only for DTSU oh, like triple six, we don't have like a CT connections. That is inbuilt CTs. But here, it's a, we need to add the external CTs for this. And this one is a, like a like a CT connections and the uh, face connections. It's the for and each face connections how we are doing like a normal external meter only. Okay. And then uh, and we have a uh, in this box we have a user manual uh, for the a meter and in this user manual all the details will be explained okay all the details will be there in this user manual and uh, we are getting the two connectors uh, where we need to connect to the uh, meter okay this is uh, recording the meter and uh, i think the other box will contain the cities okay as I said, uh, these are the external CTs that we are uh, going to connect. On the each face, we need to connect the CT. Okay? These are the CTs that we are getting for the uh, new generation inverters of 15T. Okay? This is the 15T, SH15T, hybrid inverters. Each CT. And next, I want to explain you on the CT. Uh, we need to uh, take care of the direction of the CT where we are connecting to the load. This is mentioned in the meter uh, manual. In the uh, when we get the DTSU triple six dash dash twenty, in that manual it is very clearly mentioned what direction we need to keep the CT. If you keep in the reverse direction, it will be having a negative load. Means the load will be shown in the negative uh, digits. Okay, that is the important thing that you need to take care. Okay, next uh, in the boxing, what all the th tools we will get? Okay, these are the like an AC cable connection connector this is an OT connector I can I can show you in detail uh, these are the OT connectors where you are having the load uh, one is the grid uh, these are the grid the blue uh, the blue color which is mentioned here is in the grid more grid to, uh, grid and the orange type where we are having the orange uh, connectors there you need to connect to the loads okay on the same port we given the both when you compare with the before we have a different ports now on the same port we just uh, say, divided the load and the grid and even the pins also uh, the pins also given to you if you want to use these pins it is okay or else you can go for the external pins also and now we are going to give the communication one okay these are the com ports that uh, we are using and uh, to the inverter and uh, these are the main com port that it's for the LAN and uh, com port and this is for the main uh, com port that we are going to connect to the inverter and to the uh, battery okay the com port actually will be like this okay this is the com port here uh, we need to connect to the communication i will tell the pin numbers will be there in the de in detail in the user manual and here we need to connect the meter com port a1 a2 and here also we have like an uh, a1 a2 and the as per the user manual we need to follow but the com port will be like this it will be fixed from the bottom the next one uh, we are giving the 
uh, probably I think uh, the connectors for the uh, this one string connections. We have totally three strings with uh, like three MPPTs we have here uh, with the six strings if I'm not wrong. Okay. And uh, we have an uh, plug in plug out uh, the connector for the MC4 remover package with the package and the battery connection and installation uh, installations for the um, back uh, like an, uh, as I said uh, before for the inverter back uh, clamp we are giving the screws means if you bought an inverter no need to buy any external screws uh, for the installation part now I think this is the another major important thing and even the pins everything all the pins are given here okay even the extra pins are there okay. and, uh, now it's coming to the main to the inverter how the inverter looks like present here we don't have the sungro logo why means it's a, like a prototype that is the reason at present we don't have the sungro logo on the inverter part charge uh, can you help me to pull out the inverter we are keeping on the ground for now just i want to show what is there here below yes now you can see the these are the DC switch. I will come from the starting. It is the DC switch that we have, and another uh, these are the MC4 MPPT1, MPPT2, and MPPT3. And totally we have like five strings. Okay, and next it comes to the battery DC side of the uh, system. Okay, this one is the battery positive and the negative. And another next one will comes to the COM1. It is a COM4 for the communication. Uh, communication. Okay. And uh, for the and next thing we have an like an uh, total COM2 where we can connect our meter and the uh, this one for the, uh, the to the battery communication. Okay. For this. And next we have the AC and the load connections here. Okay, in this inverter we don't have any external fans. This comes with the natural cooling system. Totally, we have a heat sink. You can see the below part is the heat sink that we have. Okay, I will show the background, back side of the inverter. Uh, it, how it looks like. This is the heat sink that we are having. Okay, and these are the capacitors. Okay, and the mounting system will be on the top, like here. Okay.